Hi everyone, welcome to the channel, Joshua McCall channel. So I have been publishing my books because this has been like a lifelong dream for me. And so at first I was starting with the Read C editor and then I found a paid version that I absolutely love. So I'm going to talk about that editor now. I want to say that it's called Atticus. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, I'm sorry. But this says it's an author's best friend and I absolutely agree with that. So these are the titles that I'm working on currently. You can always add a new book like this. You put your title, put the name of the author, all of that type of stuff, and you get right into getting your book. And you can also upload from like a Word document, PDF, and it'll try to format it for you as well. But I like to go in there and do it myself. Um, so let's go and do like Finally Free, because Finally Free is already there. So this is what it looks like. So this is where you have your uh, your title, you have your author name, this is all the things that you know codes on the front of the page, the title page, the copyright. Um, you can also include table of contents, um, introduction, but of course this is a novel, so I didn't include a table of contents. But this is where you can write like all of your chapters, it's very easy to add a chapter, name your chapters, um, all those good things. And you know when you have to split a page sometime? Uh, they have that too. I don't know which one of these. I don't know if I have any of these that are split. See how you have this here where you can um, split your chapter if you want to talk about something else and you can pick what that looks like in your book and I absolutely love that. And of course you have your back matter so you can add different things there as well. And this is, I just put my about Arthur page. Like I'm very new and I'm always trying out different things. So, um, but I'm excited because I'm on my sixth book now and it's getting easier finally. And here is where you can add a whole bunch of different things. So you can add your copyright title, uh, dedication, forward, introduction, preface. You know, you could do a whole bunch. You could do a custom page, a full page image. You know, you have all of these things that you could do. Acknowledgements, also buy, so people can also check out your other work. I haven't done that yet. And you can also do templates and stuff, import chapters. So it's just a lot of great things that you can use. And so this here is great because it kind of keeps you on um, target if you are one of those people that like to plan your books and things like that. This is great because it keeps you focused and keeps you on time and things like that. And so um, I don't have goals because, you know, my stuff is already written. All I'm doing now is formatting it into a book. But I think that it is beautiful that they have that in there because sometimes you can get a little distracted. And so those types of tools are helpful. And so they got a timer. They have where you can add like a block quote verse. So they have a lot of different things, how you can align your text. This is the um, thing that I was showing you, how you break the page, adding images, adding links because they got like the eBooks and having links is a great idea ordered unordered list and you got your these types of things so i mean you just have so many different options here and that's just for the writing and then when you get into formatting your book what i love about this is that it's so easy so for example these are the different themes that you can use for your books and i've used um the hues so far i've used this one as well for fighting chance i've used wild oats for one of them and um, I, you can even um, create your own custom themes. You can also create your own custom themes as well. Um, I just like that they give you a lot of different options. And this here will tell you how everything will look based on the device that you use. So like, they just got a whole bunch of different things. And I think they really tried to think about as much things, as, as many things as they could that will be helpful. Because when I did my first book, this is what it would look like in print. So when I did my first book, I did it in the Read C editor. And I just felt like I was very limited and couldn't get the book to look the way that I wanted to. So I redid that book in this one. And I can't wait to show you guys the difference in that when I get it. I'm still waiting to get that book. But... When I get it, I'll show you the difference in how everything was formatted and how it looks. So this is where you can pick how you want your uh, chapter to look. So I just wanted my title. I didn't want anything else. I just wanted my title, you know. Uh, so, and then you could do the, the number, chapter one, you know, set out, whatever way you want to do it. 
And then you got the different ways that the paragraph setting. Let me actually get to a paragraph so you guys can see what all this does. Okay, so this is the drop cap. See, it looks like that. So drop caps looks like that. So lead in small caps. So it looks like that. See how it does that way. Um, these are your different chapter. I think, I don't know if mine does it like that. Oh, if I wanted to include the number, so it'll look like that. But I didn't really like the number on there. I just like that. Uh, I just like the uh, title and that was it. Because, um, yeah. And then you can choose how you want it left, center, right. So it's just, um, you know, a lot of different things for you to do. And so then it's like every paragraph, you know, they say when to use uh, first sending formatting and stuff like that. And you can do indented or spaced. I did indented on this book and most of my books because it's a lot of text. And I'm trying to, you know, uh, cut them costs just a little bit. So this is what space looks like. So you don't have that... Um, you know, everything kind of has its own line type of thing, but I do indent it. And so these are where the breaks, where they look like here. So I don't know which one of these had a break. Let's see. And see, I use this, so it looks like that, but you can use any of them, see? Isn't that cool? Okay, so there's that. If you have images, of course, you know, they'll tell you how you want your images. Um, this is how you have it on the top page. Okay, so now this is moving into your print settings. If you are actually going to do paperback, hard, hardcover books, then this will be important for you. It's just talking about how do you want your uh, book to look at the top. So I have mine is going to be the title, which is finally free, and whatever the uh, chapter name is. But they have a lot of different options here for you. And so these are just telling you the popular trim sizes. So you pick whichever ones that you want. And I always go into my advanced settings, always. And so this is where you could do justify, which means everything will be on that line the way that you want it to look. Because then when it's hyphen, it kind of looks a little messy. So I love justify. And then you pick your font size and your spacing. Um, I think this one must be a big chapter. Let's go and see. Okay, so this is for my book fighting chance, just so I can show you guys these last few settings. Um, so this is the advanced settings here. Oh, and you can also pick the font. I'll show that part. So I have this one at 13 point, but if you want to do hyphens, I don't know if it'll show it. Um, take justify it off. So I don't know if you can see how it's not as, as lined as the uh, justified is. You know, justified kind of keeps it all together. It makes it just looks nice and tight. That's the way that I like it. Um, so that's justified there. Um, so this is how you do your fonts and stuff like that. So this is where you pick the fonts. Um, and so what I've noticed is that certain fonts um, picks up on things like um, your single quotation mark. It picks up on extra space and it'll make a box into your uh, uh, your manuscript or your final copy or things like that. So you want to always go through with a fine tooth comb and read it even after getting through here. Because some of these fonts are a little tricky based on... Um, which ones they are but there's a lot of different fonts they have here so always go through and look at it you know it'll save you a lot of like time i'm going to be honest with you because i remember i had one book i didn't even think to go back and look at it and then i'm like wait there's boxes in there and then i realized that it was picking up on um the single quotation marks and it was making it into boxes instead of just putting a single quotation so i don't know if it's something like with the coding or something like that that was just off but just pay attention because those little details matter like i said i'm a little known public i'm a little known author so i can get away with doing things like that because not a lot of people are going to see that first copy anyways so i like to go publish my books get my copies and then go and edit it the way that it needs to be. And that's working so far because, like I said, I'm not getting a lot of sales right now. 
Right now, I can just kind of focus on the craft and then I'll work on the marketing and the promoting of this book and things like that. But right now, I'm just interested in getting my work out there because it's one of the things I've always wanted to do. And I had this just do it moment. And so that's what I'm doing. All right. And so then you just, once you're done, you export your PDF. And so this is the one that you use if you want to put it into the paperback hardcover. I mean, you could do it for ebook too, but they have the EPUB, which I think is really great um, for that. So you just close that. Okay, so you just open it and it looks so good. See, this is how you start to see your formatting. It has your uh, copyright page and whatever other page. If you had an introduction page, you had an acknowledgement page. It will have all of that for you. And so we're just going to go through that really quickly. And then about Arthur. So you just want to make sure you look over it, make sure everything looks good. Take your time, you know, with the whole thing. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with the process because it can get overwhelming at times. But take a deep breath. And I do agree that this is an Arthur's best friend. Like this thing here has been like a lifesaver for me. I'm trying to see if I can see what this one looks like in here. So I have a um, EPUB reader on my uh, computer, which is where this is coming up at. So I can be able to view the uh, eBooks as well. Um, I don't, once I go through the PDF, I don't really go through the EPUB. I'll go through like very quickly, just like I'm doing now, but I don't go through and read it like I do the PDF. I just make sure like the boxes are gone, things like that. So it doesn't appear on there. But I think if you are um, just starting out, I believe that Atticus is a great tool. It's great for writing. It's great for formatting. It really gets you from your idea all the way to like a published book. And I think that there's nothing more ideal than that. I can't remember how much this costs, but I don't regret buying it. And the best part is you can use this offline or online, which is great. So, you know, while you're on the road and things like that, you don't have internet, you can still work on your books. Um, and, it, and you can always save as you go. I mean, it's just, I don't know. I don't have anything bad about this thing yet. Besides like the different fonts and stuff like that, where I'm still learning that piece of it, learning how the different fonts interact with other things. Um, I really do like this a lot. So if you check this out, uh, let me know what you think about it. Um, I believe I'm on a PC, so I'm on an HP, uh, but I believe that they have it on Apple as well. It's just limited features, if I'm not mistaken, but it's still a great tool for both PC and Mac. Don't quote me on that. I'm on a PC. Um, so thank you all for listening to this. If you made it all the way through the end, I'll catch you guys on another video. Bye.